A major investment in one of Dayton's most blighted neighborhoods that could mean a fresh start for more than 100 people. Today, officials broke ground on dozens of new homes to be built in Roosevelt. A few scoops of dirt and a fresh new start for Dayton's Roosevelt neighborhood. It's one of the hardest hit neighborhoods. Uh, the inner ring areas around the city were hit hard by predatory lending and then the out migration. And so it's, you know, it gives us an opportunity to rebuild uh, from, the, from the inside out. Soon there will be 43 new homes built in place of more than 80 existing eyesores. Residents like Robert Allen can't wait. For sure to make a difference. People start feeling better about the neighborhood, start uh, taking care of it, you know, stop some of the dumping that's on these vacant lots. So it'll definitely be an improvement. The $9 million Roosevelt Homes project has been in the works for a few years now and is being largely funded with federal grant money. It's excellent to be able to bring federal money and uh, use it as capital to leverage other dollars in our local community so people can have new homes to live in and we can have neighborhoods rebound. The project is not only an investment in the neighborhood, it's an investment in people. To get one of these four bedroom homes, folks will have to fill out an application. If selected, they'll pay rent for 15 years and then have the option to buy the property at a reduced rate. Residents will also have to take courses in home ownership, maintenance, and budgeting. It's critical, and not just for the parents there. We're really talking about educating the parents so they can pass that on to their children. A lot of these people may be first time home buyers in their families, and so those kids, as they grow up and they see what does it mean to take care of a house, what does it mean to own a house, that we're educating them at the same time. The first home will be done in December, and the entire project is expected to be completed by the end of 2013 giving an estimated 120 people a fresh start and a place all their own. A home isn't just a structure, it's a place where people feel secure, where the kids can do better at school, um, where there's love, and that's really what it's all about.